I'm going to demonstrate loading a flat file into an Oracle database table using C Code Developer. The version I'm using is 21.2, released this year. My target database is my autonomous database, database and schema is ML user. And this is my source data, which I've downloaded from Kevin Markham's dataset, UFO reports. So that's 18,200 something rows. So I've downloaded it as a CSV file here. City, color, shape, state, and time. Go back to C code developer and say I will do import data table, imp import data. I have not defined a table. The process of importing data will also define the table for me. If I specify a text file, I can specify a delimiter because right now you can see there is no proper delimiter here. My text file is a delimit of pipe character, but it defaults to tab. So I change that to pipe and you can identify the columns and it thinks that the first row is a header. So I can change that to say that there is no header and it give me default column names. So that I'm going to change to using the CSV file and the first row is the header, city, color, shape, state and time and the preview row limit of 100. Now this is important, I'll tell you, I'll show you why. Create a target table called UFO reports. I'm not limiting the number of rows to insert. I could have done this just to test everything with some uh, test data but I want to insert all 18,000 rows. So these are the incoming CSE field, uh, field file co columns and these are target columns. So city becomes city. Now you can see the precision of 26 is based on the preview of 100 rows. Later we will see that this is wrong. Colors, I'm going to change this to colors. You can't allow blanks in column names. So shape, I'm changing to shape. State is fine. So you can see the default varchar 2 size is also 26 based on the first 100 row preview. Time now this is varchar format but I can change that to a date format but it's, it's still month, day, year, 4 digit year and 24 hour clock. So I'm going to specify that as a format mask month, day, 4 digit year and 24 hour clock with minutes. So now you can see this is okay. For the present, all my columns are defined as nullable because I don't have a primary key and some may have null values, so they're all nullable. That's my destination, that's my source CSV file. These are the fields. It has identified the city is limited to 20 characters in the first 100 rows, so it's give me a varchar 2 of 26. Mapping of source fields and target table columns. An import method is insert segment without limiting them of rows. So it says within the first thousand rows it found at least one row with 31 characters instead of 26 for city. I just continue. Another with 32, a third one with 30 and so on. So this is bad. That means the number of, there will be a large number of rows that will be rejected. So I just cancel this whole process, wait for it to roll back. Okay, so this is, these are the statements it was trying to insert and it tells me the number of rows, all the row numbers here. So row 247 had failed here and then after that it was just checking every row thereafter. It didn't show the rows before 247 but from 247 onwards it shows me all the rows that it was checking. So I just close this. I can see the table did not get created yet. Okay, the whole process got rolled back, so I'll do the import again from the CSV file. These are the file contents, the fields in the file. I could change the preview to preview more rows, so it will probably identify a better column size for the city, or I could explicitly specify a column size.
I'm not remedying number of rows. I only put all 18,000 rows. So these are the fields. In the incoming CSC file, the target columns. So city becomes city. Now it's you can show it. Jump to a higher precision of 128 characters, higher size of 128 characters. Color still remains is 26. There is nothing that has exceeded 26 so far in what is read. Shape is still 26, which is fine. State. So you can see for Vacha 2, it defaults to a minimum of 26 anyway because there are a lot of st all the states are two characters and yet it is defaulted state to Vacha 2 of 26. Time. I'm going to change this again to a date format with the proper format mask. Okay, so that's now valid. Month, day, four digit year, 24 hour clock with hours and minutes. Same information here. This is a table. It's going to give me a table with name and letter, which I've already specified. These are the file properties. These are the fields. You can see now city says 31 characters with the preview of 1000 rows. Mapping of incoming fields with the uh, table column names and import without limiting number of rows to uh, I mean insert method without limiting number of rows to load. So now it's loading all 18,000 rows successfully because it specified uh, value of 18,000, uh, sorry, uh, 128 characters for the city. I need to count stuff first to verify. is correct. If you want to verify that, you can go into my CSV file. It is the 41 rows, excluding the first one, which is the header row. So that's how you can import a CSV file or even a text file if you wanted to import. I'll just show you that again. If you really wanted to import a plain text file, you can specify the delimiter. A text file. Change my delimiter from tab to pipe. Since there's no header, I specify there's no header. So it'll apply default column names. And then the rest of it will proceed in the same manner. I'll just show you here. So these are the default columns it's going to assign when it gets created. And you can see that this first one city is actually 26 and so on. And they're all 26 size varchar too. So that's how you could have done, uh, done a text file as well. By specifying the delimiter and whether there is a header or not. But I used a CSV file and which had a header and a proper delimiter. Thank you.